What is going on guys, it's O'Donnell here with Elevated Gaming and I just want to bring you a quick video to show you how to set up your Nitrado server for Arc Mobile. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Google Play Store, download the Nitrado app, and log in. So once you get logged in, you're going to get this screen right here. And it's going to show you every game server that you have. And then on the left, uh, top left, you'll have a little three bar thing that you can drop down and you're going to get this screen on the left here. Um, so the first tab is going to be the My Services tab, which is going to give you your main screen. Uh, then you have an order service where you can order new servers. Um, charge account, which is where you basically go in to add funds to your Nitrato account to either renew new servers or um, buy new services. Uh, account overview, we'll just go into that. It's going to show you basically what you, uh, you know, ev everything you've spent on your server thus far. And then settings is going to uh, let you basically edit your in-app settings. Um, and then you ha also have the imprint, privacy policy, privacy policy, and licenses. So we're just going to go up to my services. And once you get in the screen, Everything's going to be just set to standard. Uh, it'll just say public server 24 slot and we're going to click on that. So once you go into it, you're going to have a couple options up top here, restart and stop. So the, anytime you make changes to your server, you're going to want to restart it so those changes will take effect. Uh, the only time you're going to need to stop your server, um, I mean there's not really any reason to stop it unless you just don't want it to be running. Uh, so the first thing it's going to tell you is it's a public server. It's 24 slots in this case. Uh, the status of my server is that it started. It's going to give you your IP address and your game port. Uh, what kind of game you're running, what version it is, what map it is, how many players are currently in the server, and um, the runtime on the server. So the first little box you're going to notice down here is server settings. So we're going to click into that, and right here, your base settings, your server name, if it's set to default, it's just going to say something like uh, public server hosted by Nitrato or something like that. Uh, you can change that to whatever you want your server name to be. The description is going to be the description on that server. It'll also just have a basic uh, hosted by Nitrato link there. And then the URL uh, on the default settings is going to have Nitrato's link in it. You can change it to whatever you want. And as it says here, it's an optional URL. You don't have to have it. Um, but anytime a player selects more info in the server view, it's going to open that web link. So then you have server region. Um, so basically, you have three options. North America, Europe, and Asia. I'm in North America, so that's my region. If you want to password protect your server, you can do so on this next or this next box here, which is your server password. The very next one is going to be your admin password, which is where you can change or view your current admin password. Uh, primal pass only slots. If you want to preserve uh, X amount of slots for primal pass only, you can do so here. Obviously on this server the maximum is 24 because that's how many slots the server is. I currently have it deactivated because I don't care if they have Primal Pass or not in my server. Uh, then you have your gameplay settings coming up next. So the first setting you're going to have is your difficulty. So you're going to have four options, easy, medium, hard, and brutal that you get to choose from. Your XP multiplier. So here you can go from a 0.5 up to a 2 um, on the XP and basically the higher it is, the more XP gain they're going to get in your server. Uh, survival mode, which is going to be casual, survivor, or hardcore, which just changes the survival mode of the server. Uh, game rules, you're going to have three options, player versus environment, player versus player, or PVX, which if you're not familiar with is the outside of the island is PVE area and then the inside is a PVP area. So then you got a few checkboxes here. Uh, disallow crafting stations. 
to where um, if you check that box they won't be able to use any crafting stations um, allow cave and obelisk building now some people don't like this some people do uh, but basically if you build into a cave it'll keep monsters from spawning which makes it easier for people to run that cave and get the artifact and then the obelisk building I kinda wish these were on a separate uh, tab but if you're able to build on an obelisk the only bad part is people won't be able to go to that obelisk because um, it's typically in a PvP zone so that's the only bad part about that uh, then keep structures which this, if you check that it disables the automatic decay of structures uh, PvP structure decay if you activate that it activates structure decay on PvP servers uh, disable auto tame unclaim so basically this disables the automatic unclaim of tame dinos then you have the um, max number of players in a tribe this can go anywhere from 2 up to 24 uh, on the official servers is a set at 10 so you can just get creative with that all right our next set of uh, check boxes here is disable weather effects so basically it'll take the rain off of the server um, any weather effects they may add in the future it'll take off of there as well the next one is to disable friendly fire in PvP so you can't kill your own tribe mates in PvP mode uh, allow tribe imprinting which uh, basically if you imprint a baby the entire tribe will be able to do so now you have your multipliers uh, harvesting multiplier goes from a 0.25 up to a 3 so you can either make it really low or really high uh, same thing with the mating multiplier it goes from a 0.1 up to a 1.0 uh, egg hatch speed 0.25 up to a 5 uh, baby mature speed is a 0.25 up to a 5 imprinting speed is a 0.25 up to a 3 and then you have your daytime and nighttime scales so basically you can either drop these down to 0.25 or increase it up to 3 which is going to change how quickly or slowly the uh, daytime and nighttime scale goes by then you have your crop growth speed multiplier which can go from a 0.25 up to a 5 uh, your res resource spawn multiplier which can go from a 0.25 up to a 2 and then your uh, defic defecation, defecation multiplier <laughs> sorry about that which goes from a 0.1 up to a 5 so that's your server settings and then at the bottom here you can save your changes export and import your settings or reset to factory so that's how you edit your server uh, once you're in this dashboard as well you can view your resource usage it's just going to give you a little grid here and tell you what your resource usage in your server is any event logs so if you change settings or if someone else has access and they change something you can view all that here uh, your log files you're not really ever going to use but then you have game switching extend up and downgrade now game switching is so you if uh, let's say you want to switch to you go out and buy your PlayStation 4 and you decide well maybe I want to switch my server to PlayStation 4 you can do that right there the extend uh, option is so if you buy a server for three days or 30 days or a year whatever um, whenever that time comes up you need to go to that extend option and renew your server to keep it active uh, now in order like I said in order to um, you know either get service or a new service you have to charge your account in order for, for that fund for the funds to be available already in your account so now we'll go to order service now if you go through the app this is what you're going to get um, you can either order game server cloud server team speak mumble ventrilo music bot bouncer web space you have a lot of options here and I don't know what I did but it's not letting me 
one second here. So let's go back to order service. We're going to go to game server. Now your first option is hosting location. So you have a, uh, you know, Germany, Los Angeles, London, Miami, New York. For me, uh, Miami is about my best location. Then you can choose if you want public server basic or just a public server. Now the difference between these two is the public server basic is still gives you high performance on your server. You're just not able to switch through games. Um, so if you're planning on staying on mobile, that's what I would recommend. It's a little bit cheaper. And then your slots, you can choose from four all the way up to 200. Obviously that's going to affect your price. Uh, RAM upgrade, I don't think that's an option on the basic. It's not. But it's for uh, like Minecraft, all right, like it says there. Uh, Pre-installed software, this is where you choose your game. So we're going to go to Arc Mobile. Minimum of six slots. So, didn't mean to do that. Well, it says a minimum of six slots, but I didn't see... Uh, it changes the slots up here, so we're going to manually change it. Right. Okay, there we go. So now it doesn't say the minimum of six slots that we changed it because we have that minimum. So in your advance payment, you can pick from 30 days, or three days, 30 days, 90 days, and a year. So basically, if you just want to try the server out and see if you like it or not, they do have this awesome option for the three day. So for this server in particular, just a basic six slot, you're looking at a dollar fifty in euro, which is about I don't know, probably like two bucks US. Thirty days, you're looking at like seven dollars. And if you want to go the full year, you're looking at like sixty bucks for a six slot server. So it's actually really cheap. And, um, you know, I mean, you, you can't beat it. Now, there is a web interface to this as well. And if you notice, um, before I get to that, it says on the bottom here, you need to charge before you can order this. Now, the web interface, uh, it might be a little bit easier for some people to use. Uh, for me, it's just as easy to use this app. It gives you all the options you need. So that's what I typically use. But if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to comment in the section below. Uh, or you can join my Discord server and chat with us, and we'll give you all the info that we have. Uh, or you can join the ARC Mobile Discord, and there are actually people with Nitrato in there in the unofficial section. And they'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. As always, you can find the link for the Nitrato servers below in the description. If you are interested in ordering one, just click on that link and it'll take you right where you need to go. And as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome evening.